And let me really quick though. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, I need to make sure too uh, that I don't do this on such a busy day because I'm sitting here. I'm like, oh, there's there's uh, the morning sessions, and I have not saved it yet. That's dangerous. Let's see. Um. Okay, and I can do that quick. All right. Phew. That would have been bad if I lost that. Okay, so that's the link for all of them. Let me open up just uh, the gorgeous. And we'll talk. Hello. Why? Hmm. Oh, there we go. They, it's like they should open up. Okay. And they just took it a minute. Okay, so let me now share my screen. All right, I don't know. Let's see, I didn't look to see what I shared. I think it was the whole screen, and that's fine. Okay, so here's my step out, and I may I did mine in in fewer steps than the Zentangle one, and I'll show you um, show you theirs, um, to along with all of the beautiful artwork um, for extra inspiration. So. As I as I I uh, joked this morning, said so this is when I like I kind of have to take a deep breath before. It's, like, it's almost like doing a string almost for me, you know, because it's like okay, this is a big stroke. But what I found was after thinking about it, it's like we have an S shape here, or kind of a backwards S shape that then goes into a giant C shape. But then, with that said, when we look at the Zentangle blog. Um, you'll see that that part you don't have to, that can be changed because like this curve part and I was I was originally thinking it turns into like the um the stem but really it doesn't because when I was I I looked at uh, we googled some or some gourds and looking it's like nope sometimes that's just part of the gourd and not like a, a giant stem so we'll take a look at that so for everyone's inspiration um, and it'll be it'll be better on this one because the, the on the on the early call then I, I I thought about it like part way through and was like oh wait let's look <laughs> okay so once you have your initial shape then we're gonna do one aura and I like to uh, you know like starting it like on the same line and having it kind of you know merge out and then merge back in and then we're gonna do like like as in diva dance if you've done diva dance. After we do that aura line, we're going to, you know, draw a line, or it's kind of like like giant rounding. We'll draw a line and fill in, so we'll have a big filled in section, and then it's it, then it's just like rinse and repeat. Then it's well, aura that entire thing, and um, and then add another filled in section, and then aura that, and then add another filled in section. At some point, and this is where I had run into challenges before. Number one was I wasn't making these filled in sections big enough because then I'd, I'd end up with this enormous um, neck part. But then again, as looking at the at the the gourds, I was like, well, that doesn't really matter so much because it's kind of part of it. Um, and then the other challenge was finding a place to um, instead of having the filled in, you know, curving one direction, but have it where all of a sudden here's the change and we're going. Out the other direction so that way then the aura lines then start going the other way so that's that was that was the two uh challenges that i ended up having and two uh just as i'm noticing so where where my you know this big c shape ends if you look at the last one that's kind of ends where where the um you know is, is the bottom so i don't know if that's if that's something that's um I guess you can strategically place it if you wanted to, or just know that, well, that's going to be, you know, where all of those things meet, and it'll look like the bottom. All right, let me, oh, let me flip here. Okay, here is, and then we'll go up to the top of this, the Zentangle blog, and this, let me copy that. I'll put that in the chat also. And get back to it. Okay. And let's see. Uh, and I, you know, I didn't go back and read because she's, you know, showing this beadboard, and I'm thinking, 
you know, and then she's experimenting. And so I love their newsletter is so fun because it, it's neat to you kind of get an insight into uh, their creative brains. Um, and okay, so I think I think that this was also part of the the thought process that then went into this. Um, and I'm just, you know, reading, you know, as I say, just skimming really quick as I went through because I didn't remember the entire story. Um, and then I was also reminded myself, oh, there's those curly cues you can put on the end. I think I might add one on mine. But like here, she has that stem part going straight up. And this, you know, so that they would, you know, all of the pieces would then come, you know, you, I'm thinking it was the same process. It's just we're coming straight up. This one, I have trouble seeing because it's, it's you know, that top line kind of curves around. So I'm not sure. I have to look at it like close up to see, well, how did they do that exactly? And then here's another one. This is what I, I, I like to do in this. I put some of these... Um, uh, like wraps around the side. I did mine. I left mine open. And if you've done the Tangle Perk, uh, it's kind of like that or um, Xander, where we, we do the same kind of, it's kind of like a C shape or it could be an S shape if you slope it down. Um, or Aquafleur, that was the other one that uses that same kind of a shape to kind of um, make a band. Oh, and I just noticed this one is neat because she's got, instead of filling in solid, she filled in with orbs. So then it's like the seeds. That's cool. And then this way we have a whole bunch of them piled in. That that is one of those I think about that for a while. And then this one, same thing. That's just kind of totally crazy, but neat. Oh, and it's funny because we were joking about having too thick of a top and saying, look at I mean, those, those, some of those are 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 you know rather thick. So but anyway, just to give some extra inspiration for how you might want to do it and um you know put them together and then again here is their step out and i you know not looking back i'm like well i don't know if it was maybe i should should have wrote on mine you know just kind of the repeat type of thing because i didn't go through every single um step but i think i think you kind of get it with that so so yeah so that's one i didn't look to see what else what else do we have down here oh a pumpkin Extra fun. Their, their things are always fun. So then here's the, I, so I just searched for gourds because I wanted to see. And so I was looking at, so like this is like, oh, look at that neck. It is part of the gourd. <laughs> and like this one right here, that's just, that's, you know, enormously long. Um, and so it's just interesting and then, you know, too, and I was like, going, oh, that's right. They, you know, there's it can add some extra color. Like a lot of these are those those bumpy, weird ones. Um, oh, that's better to see. But just, you know, just neat. Yeah, it's like, you know, just to see, to get some, some other ideas. And then also, like, you know, seeing, oh, you know, Mom, if you did that, if you did that on the black and you added the color, so like this with the white, in the middle, mm -hmm. and then you could add the colored. If if you did the, um, I guess you would do the ores, and you could fill those in in one color. Hmm. Maybe I. Well, I didn't bring out a tile, so that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, well, maybe. Hmm. I might. I, my my thought was, oh, we need to grow some of those next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and see, then there's some that are just kind of odd shaped. So what I like about this tangle is that. It doesn't, you know, we just erase perfection from the mind. It's not going to matter at all. So, um, so anyway, so that's some fun inspiration. And then we'll too, you know, throwing in, you know, whatever else anyone, yeah, misshapen is good, right? That's right, Jen. And um, yeah, so then we can just have fun. Now I don't, oh, I did have, a, I had a Renaissance tile. Out. Well, you know what? I did one on the Renaissance. I did this. Well, if you're doing black, well, maybe I'll, I'll do it on the Renaissance. I'll just do a better job. <laughs> than, than what I had done. And then, two, you can think of what you might want to pair it with, or if you just want to focus in on this gorgeous and 
you know, and do do a couple of them. It's one of those, of course, you know, completely up to you. But I think, oh, you know what? Maybe thinking if I should stop thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna do it on white. I think. No, well, yeah, I'll get one out here because I'm thinking, like how how those um the seams were. Oh, the green will work on there. We're, we're kind of, we're green. And then it had different colors outside. So I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do mine in a green because I have a green Micron 5. And yeah, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Also, the um, another thing that I noticed with this one was uh, kind of watch, you have to watch where you put it. So like I, I've done this where I, I, I made it too big. And uh, then you just have to adjust or figure it out if you get too close to the top of your of your paper. So when I'm still, I'm going to do the same as it was on the step out. So I'm going to do that that kind of S shape that then goes into wow, that's really big, but okay to the C shape. Wow. That looks neat. <laughs> I'm just going to stop there and I'm going to revel in that for a minute because all the other ones, I was like, going, oh, that's just, ugh. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what happens with that. <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> and then, then I tell myself, it is no such thing as a mistake. Wait, trust the process, trust the everything. Let's just see what happens. All right, so then I'm I'm gonna just start, you know, from that same point, and then we're gonna just gonna do an aura. And I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna attempt to do auras that are maybe thinner up here, and then not maybe not as much, you know, down below. And then. Uh, then you know, depending on, on on what your shape is. Oh, and you know what? Oh, let's see. Um, 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 um. All right, let me. I'm gonna just draw the outline. So I have to be careful because normally, like when I did it with with you know these are with a dark color, and it's all one color. Then you can kind of course correct if you didn't like how how big your section was. And I just realized that I need to be careful of that. If I'm going to color it in white, it'll just have to be what it is. And let's see, let me find my, I should have a 10 here somewhere. Or my big messy table or I just use an eight and because I've got so many of them I could probably also use the chalk pencil but I kind of want it to be a little bit more permanent The one I did early and in the early session, I decided to use some chalk pencils and went and just kind of, I really, I just kind of scribbled over because I thought, well, where I had lines um, with the marker, it did, it kind of, you know, went in between those little gaps and then up into the stem. And I thought, well, and it, and it turned out, it turned out pretty good. I just, one of those, I'm still not uh, completely tickled with the, where I put the shine because I was, I was just thinking, oh, in the middle. And I wasn't thinking, oh, well, if you do that shine, and uh, if you don't know what that shine is, that's, you know, where you can leave a gap. If you decide not to leave the gap, you can always go back with, you know, a jelly roll or, you know, something white afterwards. So I'm thinking, after, especially after seeing what everybody did, I'm like, oh, really up at the top would have been better or at the bottom, but it's okay. All right, we'll leave that there for now. And then... Like I said, it's just a, uh, we'll see, this is just, this is an experiment. <laughs> and then another aura. And 
section to fill in. Of course, this one wants to, oh, there we go. I should write on these jelly rolls, light touch and go slow. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's it. It looks it looks a lot whiter on the uh on the screen. Okay. Yeah, and then it's just the deciding um well, at what point do I want to um, you know, have that aura part so that way it go or the, the fill in part. And I think about right here, because I'm thinking you could kind of guide it so that way it's halfway. And then drawing those pieces big enough. Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh, that looks neat, Mom. Oh, and I like that. Is that was that blue? Uh, no, it's actually green and a brown kind of color, and I'm using oh. a gold pen for the actual outline. Oh. Well, even even if it was blue, it looks it still looks neat. It's, it's different. <laughs> uh. Oh, and actually, I might leave. I liked, um, now I don't remember who did it this morning. I could go and look really quick. Um, that wrote thankful, you know, on the side, which I thought, well, that's, you know, that's nice. I, I don't think a lot of times about leaving room for something like that. And it's just kind of neat. Let's see. Yeah. Da -da. Oh, it was it was Joyce. It was your Joyce. Oh, okay. She put that, and that was yeah. This looked really neat. So, really neat. You know, and, and interesting. You know, from looking at those gourds, then you know you kind of. I was you know rethinking. Um, you could even do a slight bit of you know this a fill in section you know you know up at the top you know in this you know what i was calling the the neck area but the the top area just depending on how you configure it and then the beautiful thing is that uh <laughs> no matter what you do there's no wrong for sure with this one <laughs> And I'm thinking too, is like because I noticed on on some of them, it's like I, I suppose if you, you know, where that original shape ends, and if you leave that as a divot, then it then it looks like the, you know, that end, um, like like well, like you have there, and I thought I wasn't thinking about that ahead of time until I was seeing what everybody had done. Like, oh, what, how do you get that? I was like, oh, you get that by doing this. And just leave that, leave it, leave it up like that, and then as you come around, you know keep that incorporated. Okay, white pen. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. And I think I will pair. I, I will. I think I'm going to at least do that. The the pod. So if anybody's wanting to do that, I will do that. You know, after I get this done. Um, 
the yeah, so you can always you know, pick whatever you might want to pair it with or just do you do a couple of these you know type of thing because it's just it's just neat and i think this is one of those once we get the hang of it then it's it's like okay now i see and now it's a little better oops And then two, that, that outer edge. So whenever you decide that you're done, there isn't a last aura. I mean, you could always put one if you if you want one, but on the you know on the the step outs and everything, they just kind of it just kind of ends with the last fill in section. Although, like I said, you know, if you, if you feel so moved, you can always do that because sometimes adding that. You know, an aura like around the whole design is kind of neat. You know, I was thinking it's too bad we did we didn't know about this, Mom. When what? when when I was littler, you know, because it's like when we would have have Thanksgiving and Christmas at Grandma Hartwick's, and um, and you know, and we'd set up the table, and I don't think. We didn't have like name place cards. Yes, we did. did we? I made them yes, right. every yes, holiday. Did. Yes. I was like going, we could have had so much fun making them with them Well, too. and at, actually at, at some point I made like permanent ones. Yeah. That we just pulled out, um, you know, for every occasion. But yes, oh no, we had name I, plates. <laughs> yeah, because I remember setting the table and I was trying to remember if we had those or not. That's probably because somebody else was in charge of saying who sat where. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, so yeah, that's funny. I was trying to re trying to remember. I think I'll do one big last section here. Yeah, and say that. And so what I'm doing is that you know I'm curving up on purpose, like going around and then curving up, and then that to me, it's like oh that looks. It makes it look like a gourd. Gourd ask. <laughs> and luckily that you know the beauty of this is that we're not uh we're just using uh it's it, inspiration and it doesn't have to look like anything because it is <laughs> just by chance oh hey yeah that kind of looks like a gourd well good <laughs> Oh, that looks kind of neat. I might have to I'll just think about how I want to maybe add some uh, white, like up in the top, and I could probably just color in some some sections or something. You know what I found is as doing it, I wasn't I wasn't being as careful oraing aura the top. Yes, yes. You know, I I didn't try to make sure that there was a, a space in between. I just kind of drew over it if it was getting a little bit too fat i just you know went oh yeah just yeah. followed it followed it um you know even doing it just the same shape yeah well and um well you know what and let out i don't know if i have it up still here um because i really liked what um rosemary had done and it's like one of those is like, well, I should have shared this earlier, but uh, since I'm only thinking about it now, I'll share it now. So that way, when you when everyone wants to do another one, <laughs> um, let me share. And so right over here, uh, this is yeah. Well, I, I, this time I got the names on for the top one. And see, yeah, Rosemary, she had hers kind of coming to a point, and then but off off to a flare. So it was kind of like she had them all meet, you know, at one place as she came down. And that was, I think that that was a really really neat idea, too. But they all look neat. That's the theme thing. Heather, there's um yeah. Tan Tanya on the top row. Yeah. 
Now, what's the name of what she did where it like wraps around? What's that called? Uh, it's part it, of something. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it doesn't have a name necessarily. And I think I might do that on mine here too again. And I'll, so I'll show that. Um, okay. That's what I was mentioning. Yeah, so you can, it can be either an S shape, like hers is an S shape or um, like a C shape. Okay. And uh, it's, it's part of, there's a tangle called perk, which uses okay. that. Um, that kind of a stroke to divide things. And then there's one called uh, Xander, same thing, and um, Aquafleur, which is, Aquafleur is a little bit bigger, but same idea. But I'll do that on mine so that way we can see. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, cause see, yeah, cause so like on this one that I did, holding it up carefully close, um, I didn't fill mine in. I just left them as, you know, as, uh, you know, bands. And I thought that that looked kind of neat. So let's see, if I was going to do that, what color would I do that? Well, maybe I would just do that in, in, in black because it's a brown. Hmm. Maybe brown. I'll use this uh, PN. So what you would do if you want to do that, you know, first off, pick, pick the place and, um, And I'm just thinking, you know, maybe I could do it both ways. Okay. So I'll do the, so if you want to have it kind of slope down, then it kind of, it, you know, so it starts off with, you know, a curve line that's sort of like this, then you swing it across and this one, I'm going to have it slope down and then, you know, hook on the other side. So you, you kind of have uh, yeah, a little C shape go across and then you know another sheet go c shape going the other direction and then you just put another one um you know either you know before it or after it i usually i usually do it after it but for whatever reason when i was doing this one i was ending up doing them you know above but then you the same concept where you could just do a c shape i kind of like it this way because then it looks like it's um like spiraling sort of and that's kind of fun especially if you can get a get a you know, a slope in there. And like I said, you don't have, you can either go, you know, go below it or above it. It's a, it's a up to you. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, all break. <laughs> Working on black is not... Uh... <laughs> I need one of those headlamp things on. <laughs> oh, well, maybe this one I'll fill. I think I, let's see. I think this one, maybe I'll fill them in. Because you can, you know, so, you know, if you want to fill them in, of course, like I, I'll put like a kind of a straight line sort of over those C shapes. Um, and fill it in. And I know, like somebody had asked earlier, it was like, you know, because a lot of times I feel like it's sacrilege to draw over something, but it's like, well, if you're filling it in, well, and even if not, it's, it, it's just having an effect. I mean, generally we seem to, you know, draw behind because number one, that's kind of cool. Uh, but it's one of those up to you. And actually, I'm thinking, oh, this could look could look neat. So if I if I let's see, I'm sure that there's a like a bow tangle, but because uh, it's like making it a gift, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to think about that. I think drawing a line like on, on top of those those uh, the two curved lines, then it kind of solidifies it. neat
All right. Then, and I think I might take some more, go down a little bit further, but, ah, you know, where is, I'm going to, I'm going to think I might steal Diane's idea from earlier. Let me grab, <laughs> just because I'm thinking about it now. Thinking about it now and then not having all of my stuff handy. Let's see. Okay. So what she did. So I'm going to add in some of this pause. And that was um, another really neat. And that's what mom's drawing. Another neat tangle where you don't have to worry about um, being perfect. And it's just, uh, it's kind of like drawing a starburst, but at the same time, not even having to be, you know, symmetrical or anything. It's just, you know, jagged lines. My zigzaggies are kind of big, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. It's however you decide you want to draw them. And so, I, somebody give me these neat fine line pens. And I'm going to take your idea from before and do what you're doing and scatter some out first. So, because uh, what I had done here, and I, I had hoped, but time didn't work out, to color these in and then add some graphite around the outside of, of some of them. Because as you see, just like when we do uh, shading print tops, or um, i trying to think what other ones, where, you know, you, you kind of go on the outside, or like Halibau, you go on the outside and then you can go, if I go on the outside of this, but I don't bring this out too far, I still have original tile color here. So that way it, it you know, makes looks like makes it look like layers and is kind of neat. And then mom's idea to spread some out and then fill in, which is usually how I like to do, say, print top. So that way it's, uh, it is filling in. And there I go doing that really weird shape, but that's okay. And let's do a brown, uh, brown, yes. And then, then you know, then it's just kind of filling in behind, like so. And I, I've been finding if I, I shouldn't go so fast. Number one, <laughs> and then. Uh, two, picturing a circle in my head, but making it a zigzaggy circle. And that does seem to help. Oh, yellow. And for some reason, I like to change the direction and I end up with these like really these little square weird things. I don't know why I keep doing that, but I do. And for these, you could you could also, you know, use some the kind of the halibau idea and have them have them go behind and then if there was a place where it's like oh it's too big of a gap then you could always uh you know add a little something like, like right here i was like i could leave that or i could you know add a little a little v so that way it looks like it's totally behind I don't know if the yellow works so great or not. Maybe when I fill them in. There's orange.
let's see. Oh, I'm just using all kind of color. That's just so unlike me. Kind of nice. <laughs> See where Ta -ta. I know I have a yellow micron. I'm wondering if maybe the yellow micron is better than this. Uh... Oh, here it is. Let's see. Let's put one right here. Huh. A little. Oh yeah, you can you can see that it's yellow and you can actually see the line. There we go. <laughs> My kind of art is pointy and they kind of look a little curvy. Oh, all right, Kelly gets grandbabies trump everything. <laughs> so we'll see you. <laughs> that looks neat. I like that on that on the on the black like that, especially with all that color. Well, I was trying to do the, what is that one? The this blast. One <laughs> pause? Yes. Without outlining it, just using color. And they just were not, they weren't doing it for me. So I oh, ended okay. up outlining them with gold. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then, um, oh, and then, and you're, and you're doing your, the lichen different. I am? You're, yeah. It's like neat. The, the I like it. Go in the other direction? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a variation. Oh, I do. It's a variation of it. A variation yeah. has been born. I like it, though. It looks neat. <laughs> but actually, the, the other way, it looks more like that weed that we were talking about. Yeah, yeah. But, too late. Yeah, but no, it looks neat though. And I, yeah, I do like that idea of. So yeah, anyone wants to try, you know, to try that. Of course, that's why I put all of those on one, on uh, on on the site, so that way you can access any of those. And if for some reason you are not able to, let me know, and I can put a you know a separate link in. Um, but yeah, it's neat to have something organic like that. And for that one, it it, it is neat that you could just yeah you know, kind of make the lines go wherever and then decide where you want to put the, you know, the little triangles. But do it after. the other way. They look but, no, no, but that looks neat, though. Yeah, it looks all right. Yeah. It's, it, you know, <laughs> there's so many tangles that are, are so similar, you know, you could just say, okay, well, let's come up with a different, you know, <laughs> a different name. And um, let's see, I really liked that. Um, I really like that wind flow, and I think that that's what I'm gonna. I'm going to do that one in the background. And and then I'm just deciding. You see, this this is why for some people like me. It's like uh, like adult coloring books. It's like too many things to think about. It's sometimes it's hard enough thinking about what tangles should I do. 
<laughs> Let alone, you know, it's like, oh, well, what tangle should I do? Oh, and what color should I do it in? And oh, oh, yeah, you know. And see, that's what this was supposed to take, take <laughs> away all of that. Uh... Oh, yes. But then they said, "Oh, you could do in, you can do in, you know, Zentangle inspired art." <laughs> but actually, what's what what's kind of nice about it too is you know, doing mostly for me, you know, black white shades of gray, and then it's a, a little easier to add. Um, Add the color in. I don't have to think as much about it. Right. <laughs> and so I'm looking like I started with this shape and I've ended up with something completely different. <laughs> oh, it's just funny. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put my chop in that one. <laughs> well, that's an idea. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it in the red too. That way it gives a purpose because it's like, I, you know, I don't know. I have this thought. I probably did that on the other ones too. But either way, it looks, it still looks neat. Okay. And then, I think I'm going to use this, this brown, which kind of looks black. No, no oopsing. <laughs> add a little, add a little, you know, well, I mean, it is kind of whimsical, but this kind of adds a lot of extra whimsy in my thought. Oh, and so you're adding some uh, uh, gray? Yeah, just to where this, the one is overlapping the other, which I think, I think that helps. It makes it. Oh, like yeah. It, uh, yep. Oh well, well, say storm set is a, a, a little a little note, and I'll just read it out loud, even though she just sent it to me. That uh, looks great. Couldn't join in tonight, but take a peek at what we're doing. Well, I'm glad that you did. And you know, and then as just I'm looking at the time, I'm like, oh my goodness, we're, we we got you know, a, you know, a ten minutes. Until we see the great reveal. You know, and I seem like I had somebody asking before about, you know, uh, you know, how, how do you make decisions, you know, on what tangle to put where or, you know, what kind of goes with uh, things. And in my mind, that's why I, um, that's why I, uh, I wanted to categorize things kind of in the way I see groupings because that's how I that's how I kind of do it is like oh well what kind of goes with that theme wise and then you know I, I that 
it seems to work well. You know, although I'm sure it's one of those two, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But um, at least gives me a starting place. Oh, and let's have this one do that. And they're kind of getting, well, no, as they're getting taller, they're getting bigger, so that's all right. <laughs> you need to go up a little bit. Oh, well, you're drawing up in that upper corner, so that's where you need to be. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's done. Yeah, I was like, oh, let me. Yeah, as I, yeah, this, I start pulling it closer because it's like, oh, I, I need to work on it more closer. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm going to do both on both sides just because. Because it's fun. <laughs> Just something fun about that. And then, yeah, then I have to think, well, what am I going to do? What did I, I think I was going to do maybe a different color or a something, you know, in, uh, in those crevices, but I haven't quite decided yet, so I distract myself here with uh, doing these uh, wind flows. Oh, I know. I had another idea that I didn't do, and I'm going to try it. <laughs> well, that one Since we like have it. time. Yes. <laughs> Who is blowing up my phone? Okay. Oh, we gotta put a little little one over here. There we go. They're supposed to be kind of triangular, but even if you even if you end up with one that's a little straight, it's okay. <laughs> Are you laughing at your own work, Heather? I Is do. I like it. It just makes me giggle, and that's you know, that's the the fun part of all this, right? When you just tickle yourself. <laughs> all right. So then the decision, if I want, do I want to put uh, some orange in with that green on this? Sure. Why not? Sure. Why not? I say to myself. But I think I'm gonna. Okay. Oh, that's an idea. What's I, that? I, yeah, I put I li put little orbs in mine. Oh, that's in the same color. Thing. I outlined it because it it made me think of those ones that had bumpy. Yeah. Up and down. See, now you have to figure out how to do that all the way up. Right. Right. It's like well. And how are you going to put the shine in the white area? Well, well here's what I'm going to do. Oh, well, well, here. Well. <laughs> well, well, well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, thinking if I was saying so, you think so. What did they used to say when we would say so? So a button on your old man's underwear or something like that? Is that what <laughs> well, well, that's a hole in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> 
and hay is for horses. So sew so your pants and don't forget to stitch your underwear or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I had a student today and um, and we were working on something and it was just, and I said, you know, we have a saying, it have an old saying, it's called, let's not beat a dead horse. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I'm like, I don't think she'd ever heard that one before. I'm, you know, not surprised. And, I, you know, so I was like, sometimes you just let it go and it's okay. We'll come back to it and it'll be all better. No, so what I did was like, this is how I kind of do shading with the, um, uh, with these and with the, uh, colored pencils as I put thick on heavy on the outside and then and not necessarily having a shine but then I'm just using the well, I wonder how it would look skin. if you took that dirty tortillon yeah and and this put one? that on the white where the sparkle would be mm, no don't try it <laughs> hmm just wondering Oh, but oh yes, that would yes. See, and then I can just use need something to there. give it a little bit more movement or something. Yeah. yeah, yes, that does it, Heather. Oh, bingo! <laughs> and well, and the other thing too. I mean, if 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 you don't get the tortillon dirty enough from just using it like you're using it, that's another where you could scribble on the back somewhere with the orange oh, right. and just pick it up. Cause you don't, you don't want to use the, the pens, the orange color pencil straight on that. Cause it would be right. too, right. too intense, well, but that just what, gives it what it needs. Oh, it does. I'm just looking at it in the picture. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and I um I'm using the the General's chalk pencils, and what you were using um the jelly roll, the Sakura jelly rolls, right, Mom? Yes. Perfect. And so, because this is what I do, like even for other things, um when I'm either using the pencils or the colored pencils, it's kind of like that. My gem, uh, the way I do gems, is you know, so it's like, well, let's go dark on you know on one side. Or, you know, I went dark on either side and then bring it in. And so I, that's why I was even taking from these and just bringing it in. And that really, that made yeah, it that makes a world of difference. It really gives it, um, it just gives it some depth. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Versus it's like, okay, it's just, yeah, it's just, yeah, depth. And well, I like the idea of, of thinking about movement too. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Because it does. And then oh, and I, I think I want to make sure to add a curly cue. And see, and I'm I'm using that, that same orange tortillon. Uh -huh. Just kind of softens up the white a little bit, but it's still white, yep. hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Oh, let me, I want to see mine bigger so I can, oh, yeah. And see, and I could, well, here's the thing. If if if, if anybody does this, and if, I, if you wanted to add, so I'm not adding directly to here, but I can add some more dark uh -huh. on these ends. Or even a darker shade. If, uh, if you yeah. have a shade, a darker shade. I don't know if I do on the, like, if I started with, like, yellow, because there's, like, a yellow-orange, there's a canary yellow. But so I'm so I'm drawing from this that I put in these seams, and bring it out. So if I wanted it darker, that way I'm not putting it directly on here. Neato! Wow! I feel like I did art. <laughs> <laughs> wow! We and I think I might add some more. Um, but I want to see what everybody has done. Is we're getting right to right to eight o'clock. Oh my gosh! You know, sometimes I think, oh, we'll get this done lickety split. And uh, I'm, I'm treating the, the white like I've done with uh, graphite and then just uh, adding it over. Oh, I don't know. I'm pretty tickled with that. <laughs> wow. All right. Am I, am I allowed to say something funny? Yeah. <laughs> Sheree, your white on your 
on yours on the black card you know it's um i'm sure in person it would look very different but uh, it's reminding me of when i have to go to the dentist and get those x-rays done <laughs> <laughs> it's like because it's so stark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you I mean, know, and it, I was... it just looks that way on the camera, and I'm sure it's not. But <laughs> it remind me of that. <laughs> and I was, I was just thinking that same thing myself. I'm thinking. Oh, okay. And I okay, used the good. jelly roll. Oh, you know what I can do? Would oh, you... you used the jelly roll there. Oh, right. okay. And I, I'm thinking myself. They're they're awful stark. I need to tone them down. But okay, you know yeah. what? But can you use like the color like like Heather did it? Um no, because it won't move. Oh, <laughs> oh. It's, uh, but, but, but but you can but I can I can well, use my gray. Yeah, you can use your gray or if you went back over it and have have both pens ready because you can blend them. But you kind of uh, have to do it while they're wet. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> You're scaring your mother. <laughs> you can if you want to. Yeah. yeah, I think your mom's saying, "Yeah, you can." You can. Yeah. Well, and I found well, exactly. That. You can yeah. do that. <laughs> we go right ahead. Yeah. Well, I want to see what everyone did. So, if you want to open up your webcams, oh, that seems that's, to that's better, Siri. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Actually, I like that. Oh wow, Alyssa, look at that. That is neat. Oh, and so here I love that. Oh, and Elizabeth. Oh, I like how yeah, you had that have that totally going all the way. Uh oh, it looks like it's wrapped around. How gorgeous are these? Oh my gosh. Oh, who's the who's is that? Well, where to go? It I know that, 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 that they move is Sharon's so Sharon's look at oh, that looks so wait, wait, that is so neat. Is, oh yeah. Oh, Marina did uh, uh, tangles in her her areas. That is a really oh, great yeah. idea. Great idea. Okay, and I like, like Helen. We all have enough ideas to keep us busy for the next. Week. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, the colors of Helen. You know, adding adding in the color and, and saying uh, Deb and Inez did that too. It's all these are just so gorgeous, and I like seeing these with the, with the you, putting the gift thing. Get a shot, there. Heather, before it. All right, let me do that. So I think if everybody's on, that's gonna get in Tom and Carla's. Oh my goodness! Hold on one second. I gotta get my okay there. That was actually supposed to be green, not blue. Oh, <laughs> but I had cataract surgery. My vision's not quite there yet. Oh no. Okay, let me see if I got this. I think I did, and then then I'll share it with every. Oh, I did. Okay, and then we'll share it with uh with I'll share my screen again. These are so gorgeous. Oh, and I like uh, on Tom Carlton add, added a little mushroom, guys. I was thinking about that, and um, that looks really, really cool. Okay, I'm oh, keeping wow. it to myself. All right, I got them all. These are so cool, so cool. But that's what I was. That's what got me thinking about the um, what do you call it? Uh, you know, a place setting tags because it's like if you can end up doing this little. Where's my screen thing? Share my screen. Um, then, uh, you know, it'd be, you know, how fun would that be to do a personalized something, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, going to a Thanksgiving dinner or having one and that's just for, for, for us in the States. I, cause I don't think that, uh, did we talk about this last year? That is there something else that you do out in the UK around this time of year? I know in Canada, they have theirs earlier than ours, but, um, but just look at these. They are gorgeous and you know in Jen's something about the way you did the the spokes makes it look um cut cut out who are you talking about who's I'm talking about Jen Jen H up in the upper oh, right yes and it does it, it looks like those sections are cut out yeah I'm saying, I was gonna say like like it's embossed. It's not embossed, but it, it yeah, it looks like uh, yeah. It might be maybe it's the the shading in it, between or, or the color. The fact that yeah yeah it, yeah Very nice. neat neat. Oh, they're all just so gorgeous. And then and then saying, looking down at uh, and even Devs, I, I like you know having that uh, that the um, 
kind of the patterns in the color like we saw on, on the regular gourds, you know, like that. That's They're all gorgeous. We all did art. <laughs> we all always do art. Oh my gosh, how fun, how fun. All right, well, let me at least uh, stop the recording because I forgot earlier.